Welcome back. My final tipping point tonight, besides their lies, their false narrative about the so-called gender pay gap and their terrible message to little girls about ditching work when they're mad, the Day Without a Woman and the Women's March are hiding another dirty little secret. So what are these feminists hiding? Let's lift the curtain. This is Razmea O'Day. She's one of the organizers of the Day Without a Woman. She's the puppet master, actually, pulling the strings, inciting feminists and disgruntled snowflakes across the country to ditch work to prove to the oppressive patriarchy just how valuable we ladies are. Great lesson, ladies. But O'Day has a dirty little secret the radical liberal feminists somehow forgot to mention. O'Day was convicted in 1970 of murdering two Israeli college students. Yep, real life. She bombed an Israeli supermarket. She also bombed the British consulate in Israel. She may have even been the mastermind behind the supermarket bombing that killed the two students. Either way, she's a convicted killer, a murderer. She served years in prison in Israel for her crime, and then she came to the United States. Aren't we lucky? This murderer, this killer, is O'Day the woman we want to point out to our little girls and say, hey, be like her, great role model. The only reason O'Day was granted U.S. citizenship was because she lied on her immigration forms. Funny how the feminists marching in their vulgar pink hats don't remember to mention that either. Either O'Day didn't tell us she was a convicted murderer. She didn't tell us she was associated with the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, a designated terror group. But what does she tell us now? Trump's a monster, she says. Stand up for your rights. Well, I didn't see her standing up for the rights of innocent people when she set off a bomb that blew up the two college students. Luckily, this feminist, this leader of the day without a woman, Ms. O'Day, has been stripped of her U.S. citizenship for committing immigration fraud. She's awaiting deportation, which, by the way, she's pushing off via appeal. Meanwhile, while she waits, she's telling women in America to ditch work, to block bridges, strike, stand up to misogyny, she says, and bash capitalism. Well, I'd love to hear the radical progressive feminists defend that. Or maybe they don't care because to the extreme left, violence isn't violence if it's aimed at conservatives. So next time you see the Pink Hat Brigade marching in our streets, Stop one of them. Ask them. Razmea O'Day, this killer, this convicted murderer, this anti-capitalist radical, this terrorist behind the whole thing. Is that really who you want representing your womanhood? And that's my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com contact. In the meantime, catch us live here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.